So a new discovery. Antarctica. Penguins. And AI. Artificial intelligence. Yeah, that's right. Antarctica and AI. Reuters.com. Fact check photos allegedly from Admiral Byrd's Antarctic expedition were generated by artificial intelligence. Now, this article is close to a month old, but man, I found I, I just found it and it's very fascinating. Social media users are sharing images uh, which they claim show a top secret photograph from Admiral Byrd's Antarctic expedition where traces of a lost ancient civilization can be seen. However, the images were created by artificial intelligence and do not show historic photographs of the expedition. Says who? Reuters, you? Who do you trust? Reuters or the all-seeing AI? And it goes into an example here, uh, which is a Facebook post, but I found the images on a Medium article. And yeah, it's it's interesting. It's a, it's a, a photo made, this first one anyway, of an old sort of 19, you know, 20s, 30s style, black and white. You can kind of see the splotches of those old, old photos. And it's got a clear pyramid, like a black shaped pyramid, and then sort of a, a fuzzy version of humans sort of lurking about these pyramids. And yeah, certainly it would be an image of Admiral Byrd and crew, you know, discovering something. And uh, there's another photo in the same article, a similar picture, black and white, but uh, this time it's a discovery of some kind of obelisk and all the humanoid images, the people images, you know, Dali, which is the AI that created these images, you know, they don't give details. So it's kind of an outline of the people, you know, it's uh, they don't have hands per se. They all seem to have like swords or something, which is kind of weird. One guy has what looks kind of like a pirate hat. Uh, the other two are in hoods. So that's kind of weird. But uh, yeah, you, that's the second one. And then there's like an aerial view of what looks like some kind of ancient site with uh, more of these sort of pillars that are allegedly scattered about. And uh, yeah, just a few more here that are similar in nature. So yeah, these are the image, these images that were allegedly shared by people on social media saying that, hey, the Admiral Bird thing is true. Uh, for example, back to Reuters here, the text in one post reads, quote, this is why no one is allowed to visit Antarctica and why every government in the world signed a treaty together to conspire and hide the truth from the mass population. Below, you see top secret lost photos from Admiral Byrd's Antarctic expedition. Traces of a lost ancient advanced civilization could be seen in the photos. Which, again, very interesting, like the story we covered from Pop Mechanics earlier about how there might be an ancient civilization that could cause climate change. Then now it's climate change that is causing us to re-examine, quote unquote, and re, quote unquote, discover Antarctica. It's cyclical, folks. Then they go into some more comments here on Reuters and they go into the history of Admiral Byrd, who went on an Antarctic expedition. And then it says this, there is no evidence that Byrd discovered a secret civilization in his expeditions as claimed in the posts. You know, other than some of his writings, his writings were pretty explicit about some weird stuff going on. Uh, they continue. However, the expeditions have fueled conspiracy theories. One example is the hollow earth theory, which believes that the center of the earth houses a secret civilization. <laughs> Okay. All right. Okay. Videos of Admiral Byrd's Antarctic expedition have be, can be seen. All right. They got a bunch of photographs and images from Getty and stuff. Only official outlets allowed. The article says, thanks to a source who wishes to remain nameless, we had the opportunity to view a large and compelling image collection of never before seen and highly top secret photos from Byrd's many missions. They seem to depict concrete proof of an entire, whoa, police. No, firefighter. They seem to depict concrete proof of an entire forgotten civilization, its architecture, artifacts, technologies, and much more that once called Antarctica their home. The note ends on an article. Uh, the note at the end of the article reads, quote, certain elements of these images may have been enhanced or generated by AI for quality purposes. Oh, OK. Uh, Reuters Conta. OK, so the article links. To a book called Mysterious Antarctica, published by Lost Books in Canada, Reuters contacted Lost Books, receiving a response from Tim Boucher, 
who said he created the images and that they were generated by Dolly 2 from OpenAI, as can be seen by the watermark on the bottom corner, right corner of the images. We know about Dolly. Dolly is an AI system that creates realistic images and art from a description in natural language. Boucher said he chose to leave the watermarks on the images because he said the aim of the medium article, uh, the book and the images is satirical and educational. Oh, now you tell us, Boucher. Now you explain that you're being satirical. Quote. I want people to question their beliefs. Oh, do you now? Is that what you want to do? Examine their assumptions and take stock of the changing media landscape and how these new technologies can be used for harm as well as good. Oh, yeah, easy to say after the fact, huh? Boucher said, quote, I want to show people what's possible and what to watch out for. What? Okay. Observation. Every time OpenAI, DeepFake, any of this technology is used, they, the people who have done it have the exact same message. I want to show what's possible. Have you noticed that? You know, people who've been following the show probably recognize this. That is the thing they always say. Well, we were, we were just satirical, you know, the whole Tom Cruise lookalike thing. No, we just wanted to show what's possible. Very strange. Very strange thing. Uh, the text in the ebook is around 50% AI generated. Oh, good. The book is even 50% AI generated. Man, you know, this is ridiculous. The AI is taking over. All right. Reuters verdict false. The images were created using AI and do not show the discovery of a secret civilization in Antarctica. Okay. Thanks, Reuters. Appreciate the fact that the guy who made them said that he was using it as satire and using it as a way to you know, show what's possible. And, uh, yeah, I mean, what else? What else, really? What else do you need? Uh, given the fact that we are opening up ourselves into digital virtual realms, people aren't going to be able to decipher what's real and what's not real anymore unless they appeal to authority. I think that's the whole point with the fake news and, you know, fact checking and all that kind of stuff. It's meant to condition the world to only accept certain things being presented by the elite factions through very explicit channels of communication and media, you know, Reuters being one of those things. And, you know, th this is very useful in the, con in the, in the crafting of that perspective, because, you know, if you're, if you believe that there are ancient civilizations, some, you know, somewhere before time, or you know, some, some, some ancient past or whatever, as uh, Pop Mechanics was talking about earlier, then um, it's very easy to create something like this as a psychological operation to get people who believe that to start sharing the photo. See, look, look, and then pull the rug out from under them and say, no, nope, see, it's satirical. It was just an AI generated photo. And therefore, there is no ancient civilization. So you can discredit anybody who believes that if they Take the bait, which clearly some people did. So I just think it's fascinating that the warfare, the cold warfare going on, the psychological warfare, the media warfare, propaganda, all those things. This is meant to shape the way you accept reality. And this is a great example of that. So we have to always pay attention to everything, whether it be a Biden speech where they make him look like a total dictator president. Uh, well, <laughs> I forgot the name of the president from... Uh, Hunger Games, what is it, President Ice, President Snow? Snow, that's what it was. <laughs> Which, by the way, has its own weird Antarctica thing. You know? Snow. Cold. All that stuff.